On this week's episode of Fish Addictions TV, we're headed up to Bodet, Minnesota to chase sturgeon. This is our fourth year coming up and doing this in the 10th annual sturgeon tournament at Sportsman's Lodge. You know, we always have a blast every year doing this. The camaraderie in the boat and just the pure fact of chasing these prehistoric dinosaurs is awesome. You know, weather-wise, they're talking maybe some high winds and some bad weather tomorrow, but we're gonna get after them. Now on this episode and every episode of Fish Addictions TV, Make sure to click on the logo on the bottom side of your screen for more information on all our great sponsors. You know, we can't wait to get on the water. In fact, Caleb and Nathan are out there right now trying to catch a sturgeon. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. <laughs> get the... <laughs> oh God. Oh God, there goes the canoe. Addiction. The fact or condition of being addicted to a particular substance, thing, or activity. An addiction is not desirable. It is something that overtakes your life. But what happens when an addiction can't be stopped? An addiction is stronger than any one drug with only one cure. The cure is not rehab. It is not medication. It is not a counselor. The only cure for us is the water beneath our feet, the rod in our hands, the anticipation of that next big bite, and the camaraderie we all share. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by these fine sponsors. I've been partaking in this sturgeon tournament for five years and this is our fourth year with the same group of people we had in the boat. I can't say no to this tournament, uh, just the anticipation of coming up here and that chance to catch, you know, either your personal best sturgeon or just even a state record. I mean, it's out here in the, in the river. Uh, I just, I get, I get so excited to come up for this weekend and do this. Coming up here every year is a good time. We get to hang out with a bunch of buddies and I really enjoy it. We've been up here four years now. Our first couple years, we did not catch a whole lot of fish, but this year we did very well. It's a lot of fun, whether you're freezing your butt off or, or sitting out in the sun, it doesn't matter. So it's, it's an experience that, you know, you do it once and you're coming back, you know, three years we didn't catch anything, we're still coming back. So now after being on them, we're definitely coming back. I luckily got the first pull of the straw to get the first fish and I've been coming up here for the last four years and haven't really caught a huge sturgeon and thought that this could possibly be a big one. And that's that's the feeling that I have going into every hook set with these with these fish is, you know, that this could be a, a really nice fish. <laughs> the biggest thing when you're coming up to them and you're gonna set the hook, you actually don't set the hook, you just start reeling. Um, that circle hook that you have on there actually hooks into the fish, so having your drag loose for these big prehistoric sturgeon is really really what you need to get them to the boat and make sure that line doesn't snap. This is a pretty good fish we got going here. Biggest thing to remember, these fish are, you know, 40, 50, 60 plus inches, even over 70, and we're fighting them with heavy tackle. We're set up to fight these fish. Basically, we're just letting them sit on the bottom and basically relaxing. And all of a sudden, you hear click, 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 the click around, it goes out. And you kind of let that fish take it. And it, there really is no certain amount of time. It's just you can kind of tell how the fish is reacting with the hook in its mouth and just kind of 
you know, let it go. And that's like Taylor said, when you hook up to a fish with these circle hooks, you don't want to, you don't want to give it the old jerk. You want to just kind of tighten it up and just reel because that circle hook will latch in and really hook in. When that circle hooks in, it's game on. Oh man, I'm super excited. This is probably the biggest fish I've ever caught right here. Woohoo! Come on, baby. Mm, there she goes again. That's giving that rod a run for its money. Oh yeah. Oh, my arm can rest. <laughs> that was a good half hour fight almost. Woo! In between walleye season closure and the month we have in between the next Minnesota opener, everybody kind of flocks up to the Rainy River. The last four years, this has really been something that's taken off, going after these prehistoric sturgeon. This is a special kind of fish. Big fish like this, you don't really get a chance to catch you know, a huge fish like this. Well, and most of the time when you're up here fishing, you can't expect to catch 30, 40, 50 of them a day like you can sometimes up here on walleyes, but you hook into a half a dozen of these a day, it's worth it. Right. You just fought this thing for 20 minutes, half hour. Right, I'm having a hard time holding that. <laughs> I might get some slime on me here. <laughs> you know, oh, this is a beautiful fish though. Now, this is a lot of fun coming up here and doing this tournament every year. I've had a great time every year, keep coming back, and this is what I come up here for is these big fish. You know, guys, remember when the season closes, there's still things to do. We can go crappie fishing, you can go panfish fishing, sunfish, perch, that kind of stuff. But sturgeon is a blast. And like I said, in the last four years, there's been a ton of people making their way up to the Rainy River to chase these. You know, I stepped up to bat when I when it was my turn and I was called upon and, and I ended up landing my personal best, which is, you know, it wasn't the biggest fish and it's not a it's not a record fish, but in in my opinion, that's what I come up here to do is, you know, is catch these these nice fish. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. Twitch it or rip it, summer or winter. B Fish and Tackles B3 blade baits come alive with a flick of the wrist. B3 means better. Better wounded bait fish action, better VMC split grip hooks, better patterns and finishes, including real 18 karat gold plate. Try B Fish and Tackles B3 blade bait today and see why many anglers consider the B3 the best big fish bait going on water or on the ice. Find them online at bfishandtackle.com before your fishing buddies do. For this tournament series, Brian or Beef is the guy. He's the guy that puts this all together. He's on the water making sure everything's going smoothly. And he's just done a great job making sure this tournament goes flawlessly. I also understand one of the guys on the team has the uh, all-time record of the, in the 10 years for the biggest sturgeon caught. Yeah, Greg Wurstman happened to catch a 68 in the high point. I've been running the sturgeon tournament up here at Sportsman's Lodge for the last uh, three years. I'm one of the, the hosts of it. I get, a, I get the chance to run this great tournament, so it's a great opportunity to see these anglers and all these great big dinos coming out of the river, so it's a fun tournament. The sturgeon, the numbers are they're huge, and you don't even have to have a $60,000 boat. You can go out there with a canoe if you want it and drop an anchor, and the fisheries are so strong. One of the things I get spoiled with at the tournament is I get to ride around and, and checking on all these boats and, and seeing all their fish are catching and hearing their stories. So Jordan, uh, how long did this take? Uh, about 25 minutes. 25 minutes, and where are you from? Uh, Grand Forks, North Dakota. Grand Forks, huh? Yep. And uh, crawlers, shiners? Crawlers, ah. about four or five worms on there. Fun battle? First timer. First timer, so this first is the timer. first one ever, huh? Ever. Awesome, well congratulations yep. and uh, puts you in the lead so far for day one. That's awesome. Sweet. Good work. Thank you. It is really an awesome opportunity. You 
he's you're losing. Yeah, he's just pulling out on me. So I got the privilege this weekend to hook into the biggest fish I've ever caught. 40, about a 44 inch sturgeon. And we got it and I reeled it up and I had it, you know, 30 feet from the boat and didn't think there was much there. And all of a sudden she took off and it ended up being a half hour battle. And that was a lot of fun. It's not what I was expecting when I first grabbed that rod. Now when you're fishing sturgeon, the setup you have is key. You know, what we're doing is using heavy rods. We're actually using the Omen Muskie rod from 13. And then we pair that with a, with a heavy counter reel, uh, basically 80 pound test line, five ounce sinkers, and a big circle hook. Just gob it with worms. And we like to put night crawlers on there and then maybe just a, a little bit of frozen shine or two. Just, these sturgeon are feeding by more by smell and scent than anything else. You know, they're, they're going along the bottom and, and as much smell and scent and, and different things you can get down there to attract them, the better. Every time I get him up to about 30 feet, he, he takes off. Now, wind's picking up on us and we're only three boats left on this side of the river. Everybody's ducked out of the wind, but we've been doing pretty good here, so we're gonna stick it out. Yeah, we're about 10 feet now. Oh, the back's starting to hurt, no. <laughs> but you're having fun. Oh, I'm having a blast. <laughs> I haven't gotten a real good one in since first year we were out here. There we go. There, there it is. is. Oh, that's a good one. Might be 50 plus. So, can bring it on up? No. Yep. It's going to be 40. You know, a half hour battle to get it in. You got guys moving stuff out of the way, uh, getting equipment out of the way so you can make sure you get this thing in. And then, you know, people are there helping you grab onto the fish, get it on board, land it. You know, another thing to remember when you're handling these sturgeon is you want to handle them underneath the belly and not really basically support them. These are huge fish. And when you're grabbing a fish like this, grabbing them by the gills or, or grabbing them, you know, in different places, you want to support them because we're letting these things go. I mean, we're trying to grow lots of these around here and, and big ones. And it's important to keep the fish in as good a condition as possible. Here you go, man. Nice fish. Picture. It, was, it was awesome. That was the biggest fish of my life and uh, it, it's a blast. Hey guys, we're out here sturgeon fishing on the Rainy River and just wanted to go through kind of the, the tackle and the rods that we're using. Now we're going to start off with a heavy, heavy rod. This is an Omen musky rod from 13 Fishing. Made for lots of weight and big fish. You know, you got to remember when you're uh, fish and sturgeon that we're fishing 50, 60, 70 inch fish, possibly 100 plus pounds. So we want to make sure we're prepared on that end. Next, we're going to pair that with 80 pound braid line. I like to use 80. Just you have as much strength as you need to horse these fish in. They're big fish and they fight and can jump out of the water like a marlin. Second, we're going to go down and we're going to use no roll weights. Now, Depending on the current, we'll use three to five ounce weights. We're actually using five now because the current is really strong. So five ounce keeps us on the bottom with no issues at all. Now we use these no roll weights for one purpose, just because when they lay on the bottom like that, you still have the line able to move freely. So when a fish grabs that, it's not feeling that weight at all. Now to keep that above your hook, we're using a a barrel swivel, heavy duty barrel swivel. Basically that makes it so the weight can only go to a certain point. And we put about a 15 to 18 inch lead off that with a heavy duty circle hook. Now sturgeon basically are feeding off of scent. So we're gonna gob this with two, three night crawlers and maybe even sometimes we'll throw a frozen shiner on top of that. You know, sturgeon fishing, we get back to the basics. We're baiting a hook full of meat, throwing it out there, letting it sit, 
and letting the hook and the, and the bait do the work. And that's one reason why we really enjoy doing this. Get out here, fish sturgeon on the Rainy River, you won't regret it. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. For more information on Fish Addictions TV, check them out on all their social media. You know, what's kind of unique nowadays about sturgeon fishing is we just get down to the basics. We just have a heavy weight, a hook, a ball of bait, whether it's night crawlers or frozen shiners, you cast that out there and sit, let it sit, and it's just having fun in the boat. It's basic fishing, just throw the line in the water and you just wait and wait and wait. And sometimes a couple hours go by and nothing happens and you just joke with each other and pick on each other and, and then you hook up and everybody gets serious and dives in there and does their job and it is an exciting fishing. Being able to come up to the Rainy River and go sturgeon fishing for my first time was the most awesome experience I've ever done. Um, I've gone trout fishing, I've gone salmon fishing, I've, got, I've gotten so many fish in my life but I've never gone sturgeon fishing before and it was just an awesome experience. Oh, I think we got one here. I think we got one. Oh yeah, there he is. We're out here partaking in the 10th annual sturgeon tournament at Sportsman's Lodge. More of a fun atmosphere. But nonetheless, we're in the boat having fun. <clears throat> this is our fourth of, of the day. There's a two-day tournament. This one doesn't seem very big, but we've got a double on here. Get this one out of the water and probably reel this one up, Taylor. Kind of gets chaotic. This is pretty small, 30 inches or so. Ooh, we got a good one on, huh? You know, we've been fishing this tournament for four years and we've caught a few nice fish along the way, but Caleb's never had a chance to get in on one of the big fish and, and he caught a 50 plus inch fish this weekend and that just made his trip. Now these sturgeons, sometimes they jump as they come up, kind of get lucky with this water warming up. They're a little bit more active when you catch them, as you can see. That's why we use this heavy gear. We're using Omen Musky Rods from 13. You know, think of your gear as multi-purpose. These rods are heavy enough to handle a sturgeon along with like the muskies. Lucky number five. Look at that. That was pretty cool to see it jump <laughs> by the boat. Good thing we got that line no, up. No, there's otherwise. a season, there's a season on sturgeon and we are in there, but in this tournament, we're not allowed to keep any. So it's a, it's a catch and release only here. Was it? How big was it? That's good size. Is it? That's a good looking fish. He gave us a little sneak peek. Oh, this is cool seeing these big fish come in. <laughs> Look at that rod just buckle over. <laughs> might give you the bubbles, he might not. Yeah, usually to. Ooh, buddy, he's got another oh, one. Oh, he's got That's another a good line one. On. Here we go. We got swivel. Just don't let it go that way. <laughs> Barely hooked, too. Yeah, I got the front and the back. Take the back. You got it? Yeah, when I when I hooked into that, it was it was awesome. I was grinning ear to ear and it was a 35, 40 minute fight. This is what we're up here for. <laughs> Fishing big prehistoric sturgeon. Like we said before. This is kind of a pastime up here on Lake of the Woods and the Rainy Rivers. Fishing sturgeon out of season, out of the walleye season. And this is a beautiful fish. We haven't got a tape on it yet, but we're gonna do that here. It, during the tournament, we have measuring boats that come up, measure, take the girth. So we're gonna hand it over to them, let them measure it, and we'll let you know. 54 and a half fish. And it was, it was the best fishing of my life. I really enjoyed it and it was a good time.
Pat Kovash from Kovash Marine with a quick tip to help make your boating experience better. Remove your propeller at least twice a year and check for fishing line around your prop shaft. Just because you haven't snagged in your prop doesn't mean someone else's line hasn't. This will help reduce costly lower unit repairs. Stick with us for more Fish Addictions TV. What do you like most about your Ion Auger? Starts every time. Just pull the trigger. No gas, no oil, no spills. Ion will cut up to 40 holes through 24 inches of ice in a single charge. That's a lot of holes. No exhaust or airing out the house. It doesn't catch when you redrill holes. I like the new reverse. I use it to flush holes clean. Learn why Ion is the hottest auger on the ice at ioniceaugers.com. Fish Addictions TV is brought to you by these fine sponsors. When Mike was reeling there and he was really, really wrenching it on his back, I knew he had a pretty good one there at the end. Uh, it was, I was actually getting a little bit tired just watching him reel that fish in. You know, there's nothing like these fish to just have this power. You know, guys, when the ice comes off and the water, you're able to get the boat in the water, definitely do yourself a favor and come try this out. I mean, we're using heavy gear. 80 pound line and this fish isn't giving at all. We got it cranked pretty good right now and it's pulling it out. We always say this but if you can't get excited about big fish you shouldn't be fishing. I mean sturgeon like I said you're not going to get those days of 30 plus fish but you get one just big one. It, it makes the trip just worth it. Well, unfortunately, we got a big one on. Tournament time just ended. The judge boats just left and said, sorry guys, you didn't land it. We're sticking it out. We want to see how big it is. We've had this thing on for 15, 20 minutes already. And by the way, we're fighting this with heavy sturgeon equipment. So it's a big fish. We got one glance at it. It's big. So, I mean, as you can see here, Mike is actually reeling in my fish. Uh, this was supposed to be mine, but obviously I can't reel in something this big. So he took over and he's going on 45 minutes of reeling this fish in, something I could not do. Let me tell you the truth, she was sleeping in the front of the boat. <laughs> It's always fun when you got a fish on that you just feel like it is overpowering you. About a 45 minute fight, a little over, just under 60 inches. Trying to catch your breath there. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, if you ever thought about going sturgeon fishing to catch fish like this, they get bigger. This is a beautiful fish nonetheless. A trophy in anybody's eyes. Wow. Get up to the Rainy River, fish sturgeon. You know, everything that we've told you about, that's what we're doing. You know, take our advice, get up here, get on the Rainy River, catch these fish. This is the last fish to end this trip. Couldn't have asked for a better trip. This thing put up a heck of a fight. That was fun landing it with you. <laughs> Got a little stressful watching you, getting it in, but. You got her in, got a few battle scars on her. 
You know, sturgeon fishing for us is about being with good friends, just having a blast. We grilled on the boat. We had a lot of laughs on the boat the last two days. This fish is not going to count towards the sturgeon tournament that we're in. We caught this about 10 minutes before the deal was over for the bell ring, and it took us another half hour, 45 minutes to get in after that. It's not going to qualify, but a beautiful fish, biggest of ours for the weekend. We've had a lot of nice fish this weekend, really. We've caught over a dozen sturgeon in two days. Really couldn't ask for any better fishing. Like you said, all about fun. I mean, this is just a blast. A lot of fun to do this, and to finish it off like this was, was really special. So, well, we're gonna get her back. We can catch her again next year.